Fuck, they are finally filming Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, and we have our first look at Zachary Levi returning in the lead role, but also, obviously, his new suit. Oh, so much to discuss. They made a lot of changes, and for the most part, I really like it. Uh, this was the first photo that I saw of him, and my I have to say, my second reaction after he got a new suit was we were so worried about the child cast aging up between movies that we never even considered the possibility that Zachary Levi himself would age up. He looks older to me in this picture. Although then I saw this other one where he looks like his delightful usual self holding up that fan adorably so to cool down. So what do I think's going on here? I think, uh, you know, it is a few years later, um, but that, you know, that doesn't stop some other actors. I would blame the cinematographer and the hair and makeup department. I think that um, they should give him a little bit more of a, a rosy gleam in his cheeks. I think his hair is shorter, which creates an older look. Uh, and just the angle here is not great. Uh, and also, I don't think he has enough coverage in terms of his foundation. I mean, he's wearing foundation. He's an actor in a movie. So I just hope that they keep an eye on that to make sure that he looks his absolute best. I'm a big Zachary Levi fan. He was so good in Mrs. Maisel. Um, I'm excited to see him reprise the role here. Now let's compare suits. To me, by far and away, the biggest improvement, there are a lot of improvements here, but the biggest, most awesome improvement is the neckline. Remember in the first suit, it had that weird gap that made us all feel like it wasn't him, that he was just wearing a giant muscle suit, even though he swore up and down that it was him in there. We were like, I'm, I'm no, I know you're in there, but there's other stuff in there with you. Uh, now it looks, I mean, I'm, he, it's still, I'm sure, a padded suit to some degree. Every actor wears a padded suit as a superhero, even when they work out. Maybe not Chris Hemsworth. That's why he, okay, if they're not wearing a suit and they actually are that big, that, that's why they do it. They don't have to, they don't need to add anything so they can, they can show it off. But if they're covered at all, they have some padding. But the neckline really sells it. It looks like that's just a, a, a leotard that he's got on there. So I just think that that's, that's just an absolutely huge improvement. Uh, before, I would describe, and I think the texturing is a really big deal as well. The land, I would call it the landscaping of his physique. Before, he looked like just a giant sock full of pillows that he was swinging around, <laughs> basically. But now, not only do they have the muscles landscaped in there, from his pecs to his abs, right? Uh, but also the color blocking and the contouring with some of the detail work and the texturing of the suit, uh, the gold accents. I mean, that's, that's all there to help make him look better and to further create the illusion that he's really big. I'm not saying Zachary Levi didn't go to the gym and work out and is bigger. I'm sure he is. But if he was, he'd be shirtless. I'm just telling you how it is. Uh, maybe there'll be a shirtless scene in the movie and he'll prove me wrong. But right now, this, that's my stance on it. Now, did they lose the cape? I don't think so, because he still has the two cape holders there uh, to secure it. I think it's probably gonna be digital in some scenes, as is the case also with most superhero costumes, uh, at least in action scenes. I hope that in the non-action scenes, he has a, a practical cape, because I came to really like the fluffy, speaking of pillows, the fluffy pillowness of it uh, from the first movie. I thought it was charming and, and, and differentiated him from other superheroes. And it also gave him that Greek mythology feel because it felt very much like a toga, right? He's got a toga party going on on his back. When I first saw it, I said it looked like curtains, as you might recall, but I came to really like it. So I think it'll be there. I just think that this is an action sequence, so it'll be added digitally. And I hope they can capture the pillowiness effect in, uh, you know, in CGI. Now, speaking of more adult, this suit is more adult. I wonder if that's because maybe Billy Batson's done a little growing up himself, right? Uh, so maybe the first suit was, I mean, how much, I don't know how much of the suit is controlled by his mind and how much, you know, comes from the power of Shazam, right? But, you know, the first suit looked very much like a cartoon character, and this one seems more like a superhero. You know, he did invite Superman, or at least Superman's body, because Henry Cavill wouldn't show up, to lunch. And it seems like he got a couple of ideas. I mean, that detailing, uh, the texture of the suit is more like Superman's costume. But in other ways, this is, you know, it's just more detail work, which I think is really great. The gauntlets have a lot more going on, the belt. Uh, and again, the texture of the suit. Uh, the lightning bolt, though, I have a little, it's smaller, 
And I worry it's not going to light up anymore. I really liked that the lightning. I liked a lot that the lightning bolt lit up in the first movie. Uh, but this doesn't look like maybe they can do it in CGI. But it doesn't look like maybe it'll just glow. It did. I guess it glowed before. But I like the light up factor. You know, it's funny. The fir- again, the first movie not only like a cartoon, but like an action figure from a toy store, uh, which would have uh, that reminded me of that because that would have a light up chest, obviously, with like a little light in the inside the the, uh, the action figure's cavity. But here, you know, he does look more like an actual superhero. And I guess if he's going to have to go toe-to-toe with Dwayne uh, Johnson's Black Adam eventually, uh, and Dwayne Johnson, of course, produces the Shazam movies, I think, I think Black Adam wants to fight Superman. And I think there's still a chance that he will. We'll see what happens. Um, a slim chance. Like, the slimmest of slim chances. But it's, I, don't think that it's, it's, I don't think the idea is dead. But it's very slim. But eventually he's going to have to fight Shazam. So I think that's one of the reasons that the suit has really stepped up its game. Because I heard the Black Adam suit looks amazing. Um, so what do you, I mean, we've seen a glimpse of Black Adam with his, uh, with his uh, shroud on. But we haven't actually seen his suit. I wouldn't be surprised if it had some similarities to this. Because they are supposed to be a matching set. You know, not only in terms of villain and hero. But they do have their powers from the same base. So the, the costumes have to have a similarity to them in that regard as well. So how do you think it looks? I'm, you know, with Zachary Levi, he adds so much to the mix. I can't wait to see him actually in action. Uh, you know, with his quips and his jokes and his humor, he's great. I really love the first movie. I wish it had done better at the box office, but thankfully people felt really good about it, you know, fans and critics. Uh, and so I'm excited for them hopefully to level up box office wise with this sequel and for us to get a look at everybody else, which hopefully we will soon. Share those thoughts down below, subscribe today. And of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.